fourth principle of God awareness is Ahavas Hashem, loving God. The cornerstone of every relationship is love, and so it makes sense that one of the principles of God awareness is actually loving God. But how do we create love for God? Well, how do we create love for anybody or anything? The Torah says something amazing about love. The Torah commands, V'yahavta l'recha kamocha. You have to love your friend, your close one, like yourself. Well, that's strange. First of all, how could they command us to love someone? How could you tell me who I should and shouldn't love? Love shouldn't be a commandment, it should be an option. And secondly, how can I love someone like myself? I like me a lot. Me and myself have been hanging out for a very long time together. Even my spouse doesn't spend as much time with me as me. So how can I love someone like myself? Let's learn love from the place we all learned it first, our parents. Imagine you were talking to a woman who was nine months pregnant. Bisha Tova. Well, thank you. So, are you going to love your child? Excuse me? Are you going to love your child? Of course. How do you know? You haven't even met him or her yet. What if he's a brat? What if she's not your look? What if you don't have the same interests, like sleeping through the night or verbalizing your feelings as opposed to crying every time you need something? What if the kid down the block is cuter, smarter, or more athletic? The mother is either going to knock you out or assume you're on drugs. Why? Because parents love their babies no matter what. But well, why is that? It's because they understand what it means to truly love someone. The mistake we make is that we think that love leads to commitment. That's not the case. In truth, commitment leads to love. Parents commit to loving their unborn child, and so no matter what the child is born like, they love him or her. The more the parents commit, the more the child becomes a part of them, and the more they love that child. The rabbis say, via hafta l'recha kamocha, via hafta, a commandment. Because when you commit to love someone, then something amazing happens. You connect to it, you identify with it. Like a parent to a child, you don't see it as something separate, but a part of you. It becomes kamocha. When the Jews were presented with the Torah, the marriage contract between them and God, they used the exact same principle to forge their relationship with God. Nase, we commit. Venishma, we understand, we identify, we'll get close to you. The fourth principle of God awareness is loving Hashem. How? By committing, by going all in. As long as we're holding back from Him, we can't fully love Him. Our choice is whether we want to commit. Nase. Because once we do, true Ava, true love is right around the corner.